was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, <laughs> oh my sweet baby. <laughs> So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanting to give up 'cause nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. 'Cause I finally learned my lesson. 'Cause you grew all the pieces back together. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever. So free, oh my sweet baby. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Do you want to go outside? Do you? You got a hair on your face. Do you want to go outside? Come on then. Good morning, how are we all doing today? I thought I would bring you all along for a day in the life of Echo. It's quite a while since I did one properly. I know I tried a few weeks ago and he woke up ridiculously early so I gave it up as a bad job. But he's up at a normal time today and he's on form so I'm looking forward to being able to share his little life with you all and for myself as well it's going to be so nice to look back and even when I look back on videos I've made of him in the past He's changed so much and his morning routines changed so much as well so let's see what we get up to today shall we Did your paws get all wet out there? Yuck. 
So we're back inside now and Echo is not a fan of getting wet paws at all. It makes him so, so grumpy. You'll have seen his grumpy little face while he was out there. Um, he hates it and he just flicks his paws all the time until it's off and licks them really aggressively. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but he just is not a fan. So he loves to go outside, but the morning is his enemy because although it's exciting to go outside, he knows it's going to be wet and he knows he's going to get wet paws and then be very grumpy. So he's now going to spend the next half an hour aggressively licking his paws until they're not wet anymore. <laughs> what a guy. You okay? You all right? Did you get all wet? on his bed. This is the weirdest thing ever. He has never touched this bed ever. Like it's like the floor is lava with this bed. And now he's doing this thing that he does where he has two legs on one thing and two legs on the other. Are you quite happy there? Are you quite happy? Here you go. You are strange but lovely. So I got him this toy from Pets at Home but I do not recommend it, it's not, I don't know, maybe it's good for different cats but not, not for Echo that's for sure. It does this um, and it rolls itself all around the room but as you can see he's super interested in it. <laughs> it's just a bit too erratic, um, it doesn't really like toys that fight back. The fish is probably as automated as he'll get with toys but he's just not a fan. When you'd gone, you're having a little snooze. You had a busy morning, haven't you? Oh, you look a bit grumpy. What's the matter? What's the matter? So I'm just cooking my breakfast, and Echo must have smelled it and got hungry. So he's having his second tin of Thrive for the day. I'm going to be asked. So these are his two favourite flavours: tuna and salmon, and ocean and fish. And I just switch and change which ones he's having each meal so that he doesn't get bored. So I've got changed for the third time today. The temperature doesn't know what it's doing today, but it's supposed to be glorious sunshine this afternoon, so that'll be really nice. So Echo usually comes in here when I'm cooking and just pesters me and wants cuddles and loves, so I'm gonna let him just mooch around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Close the window so he can't escape. <laughs> this is one of his all-time favourite spots. He just loves sitting here and watching the birds and just smelling the air, I think. He just loves it. We're thinking about getting, I think they're called cat flaps, um, like a big mesh screen that's velcroed on so it's cat proof so that we can have the windows open and I've been thinking as well about getting a door version, you know, if you live in a hot country you'll know what I mean, but it's like a door that's made from mesh that you can open and close on a hinge. So I'm wanting to get something like that for this door so in the summer we can just have this door completely open and he can go and sit there and get as much fresh air as he needs without being able to get outside because we haven't yet cat proofed the garden properly and I don't want him out there without me or his harness for that matter so this is what we're up to so far but it's really hot today and it's only going to get hotter so we need to sort of think of some kind of a solution for ourselves for the next few months. I'm now in my fourth outfit of the day. Is anyone else like me and just can't decide what to wear ever at any point? <laughs> so I've just had a little spring clean and Echo woke up and he's now 
just sat meowing at the door so we're gonna go outside we've got some family coming over later on so it's gonna be really nice for him to be able to socialize he actually did so so i'm shouting over my music <laughs> i always put music on when i'm spring cleaning because it makes me feel lighter and fresher but he did so well we got him in the first lockdown or the second i don't know how many lockdowns i've had now <laughs> We got him in November and we were in a full-blown lockdown when we brought him home so he didn't actually meet anyone till Christmas time so to be honest he's done so well just adjusting and swapping and changing and I think a lot of that is down to the breeder we got him from, socialising him from a young age so yes very grateful that he enjoys company. We had a friend yesterday and he just went up and snuggled next to her on the sofa and I was like <laughs> I've just never had a cat like that before that was just so happy and content to be around other people. Oh no! What's, what's the matter? Do you need to go outside urgently? Do you need to go outside urgently? Meow! <laughs> Good boy. You've made quite the mess here. You've made quite the mess. I need to have a sweet, don't I? and Echo is out. <laughs> Our visitors have just gone home and he had a really nice time in the garden and whatnot but after a while we just brought him inside and this is where he is. <laughs> Nothing is going to wake this cat up right now. He is shattered, bless him. seemed to have a fly in the house and it's woken Echo up from his deep sleep. <laughs> now he's on high alert. Oh bless him. <laughs> Where is he? He looks so confused. <laughs> half past nine at night now and it's super weird now there's light nights because at what point do you go <laughs> what is he doing <laughs> one minute <laughs> it's always funny because you never know what time to close the curtains because in about 15 minutes it's going to be pitch black outside excuse me excuse me what are you doing what are you doing he's pestering me to go outside <laughs> I found with him no matter how hectic of a day he's had he will always sleep through the afternoon no matter how many times he wakes up 
he will always be up at nine o'clock on the dot every single night for a mad hour before we go to bed. We usually go to sleep around 10 or 11 o'clock, so now is his like time to shine. This is when the true echo comes out to play and he just goes absolutely crazy. He's been chasing a fly around the house all afternoon, so I'm gonna let him burn off some steam outside. I've got the washing to bring in anyway and just close down the outside, so that's usually what we do, so. I know we've been out there a lot today. He is an indoor cat, but I do want him to have a really fulfilling life. He's literally doing circles around my legs. <laughs> oh God, oh my God. I just want him to have a fulfilling life and to do what he wants to do. And if he wants to spend time outside, then I'm more than happy to go out with him a few times a day. So that's the plan now. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like it? What are you doing? What are you doing? I love it when he needs his little paws. He's doing air breads. If you can see. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah, he is. to go out and chase the bugs. <laughs> Take it off me mommy and give me treats. <laughs> okay. Ready? Good job. Can I help you? Come on then, now you come. Now you come. Now you come. You gonna come up? Good boy. Let's jump on a bus and take one. a ride I know, I know. There you go. Sort you all out, you made quite the mess. <laughs> so I got Echo this little tray that says, what does it actually say? Love makes a house a home and I think it's so cute. So it's just a little tray because he is the messiest eater I know, he has proof, <laughs> so it just kind of contains his biscuits and it doesn't make the carpet smell. Um, I've been using these balls that we got from Morrison's, so it's just a little dip dish I think, and I just pop them on some pieces of tissue each day, I change them out and it stops them from moving around and I don't know, it seems to be getting on quite well. You may have noticed that we've not fed Echo any raw food today, and it's because, to be honest, he's been going off it for a little while, and it's so expensive compared to like biscuits and other food that we thought, you know what, we might just give him a break from it and see how he does. So we're keeping him on the tinned food he's on, and he's got the dry biscuits as well, but we're always changing our approach, and I just think, if he's not enjoying something, there's no reason to force feed him it. So he was just wasting so, so much of it. And I just always felt like it was going bad and I didn't want him to get poorly. So yeah, uh, we're just feeding him the Thrive tins at the moment and that's doing him really well. He really enjoys them and they're a complete pet food as well. So good for him also. <laughs> and he's heavily supplemented with the Thrive dried chicken treats because they are his all-time favourite. So I've got some of his favourite toys here, this flippy fish and this little wand. Both of these are from Pets at Home in the UK, um, but I think you can get both of these on Amazon as well. So this, like I said, this is Echo's time to shine. So I will show you exactly what I mean. Once he's finished eating, in about half an hour, he's just going to be doing loops around the bedroom, being an absolute maniac. So... <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> Recently he's been really into caves, kind of like this, so I make him a little tunnel with two pillows and I imagine in a few minutes he's gonna be in there, being a crazy boy. I usually set it up like this and then and I just wait for him to come. <laughs> His time will come. <laughs> You 
You said let's jump on the bus and take a ride downtown Well I don't know about that But can you help me first to get these boxes down Okay, what are you doing? Well I don't know about that <laughs> We have the whole What did you see? Is there a fly? Honestly. I think it's safe to say Echo is stuck behind here. What on earth are you doing? What are you doing? Being a bit of a crazy boy, aren't you? What are you trying to get to? There's nothing under there. There's nothing there. What do you want to see? There's nothing there. Okay? <laughs> yes? Do you want to play now? Instead? I've been obsessed with crawling in tight spaces. Should I turn on the TV or the radio? Well, I don't know about that. But there's a whole list full of all the things we can do. But I want to do none. Wish that you did too. So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying. I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day Just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing For the rest of the day You can try to seduce me Make me wanna play I don't know about that What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> she just gets stuck. Oh no. You got him. You got him good. So at this time he sometimes starts panting and that's when he's been jumping up and down the bed too much which is what I want because if you can see him now like he looks quite tired he's still a little bit wired but he's acting more tired than he was before so this means we're going to get a good night's sleep well that's what we hope anyway <laughs> hello crazy boy are you having fun? you look <laughs> a bit crazy do you want a brush are you not really in the mood? are you in the mood or are you not? You're purring a lot. It's good for you. Get all your little kinks out. Good boy. <laughs> okay, go on then. Be free. Be free. We'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> we usually brush him once a day. I brushed him this morning, so he doesn't really need brushing, but I like to brush him whenever I can. But he is in... Yeah, he's in a mood tonight. He's all kinds of crazy. I'll let you carry on running around the house, shall I? Yes, is that what you want? Maybe you should settle down a little bit now. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, baby. What are you doing, Echo? What are you doing? Echo. 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 What are you doing up there, Echo? Oh, beautiful boy. Beautiful tired boy. So it seems this is where Echo has decided to sleep for tonight. I guess it's probably nice and cool for him. It's pretty hot out there tonight. So that's going to be it from us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me on the way out. I've got lots of other videos of Echo on my channel, so I'll leave a little playlist down below. I'm going to let this little boy sleep now. He's had a very, very busy day. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And we'll see you in the next video. Good night. I don't know.